What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So we're driving downtown right now. Jordan and I are meeting up with Trey. We're picking up Hunter McIntyre who is in Austin for, he's been in Austin the past couple days. We've been training together, hanging out together. So we're picking him up at his airport and we're going to the track to do a quality session. We have some 400 meter intervals, some 300 meter intervals. However, I need to make it an obvious point and note that if you've ever visited Austin, Texas, and you're driving into the city, you're driving into downtown, you're driving along the Colorado River, you will see people every single morning, every single afternoon, every single night getting after it. People will just say you're passing people running miles, training for ultras, training for marathons, sprints, riding bikes, walking their dogs, walking their babies, everything. It's just like the, the energy in this city makes you want to get after it. So, Rhett Hunter's hotel right now. Where's Hunter? Hunter! We're four minutes early, so. Fun fact, Preston's middle name. My baby brother's middle name is actually Hunter. Did you know that? I thought it was cornbread. Cornbread. Hey, we're right outside of your hotel. Oh, solid. I'll be down in a second. All right, later. <laughs> there he <laughs> is. Hey, boy. What are you doing, running? Yeah. Warming up, baby. All right. I think burn some fucking rubber in track. <laughs> so today's workout, it's like I said, a quality session. We have a three mile warm up, and then we go into four times 400 meter intervals at one minute and 14 seconds per rep. And then we go into four times 300 meter intervals at 55 seconds per rep, and then a three mile cool down. So Hunter and I are about to do a, our warm up and cool down throughout the city of Austin. We're really going to the back neighborhoods of Travis Heights. And then we found this track, I believe it's a half track, that we're gonna do the intervals on. You can see the city in the background. I'm sure Jordan's gonna capture it very well. I'll try. So let's get after it. Are fast. Yep. We were at 436 minute per mile pace. Hunter's quick. I noticed that on yesterday's nine mile run, and uh, I'm noticing it right now as well. That's it. 400 is complete. 300 is complete. That was really good. Fast feet. I haven't done a workout in about four or five weeks. Just been taking some time off off that Murph challenge. And I feel great. Been racking some miles up with him for the past couple of days. A little bit of bodybuilding, a little bit of speed. Just puts a little heat in that Texas flavor. Nice. Spicy. Very spicy. So we literally just rolled in from the three mile cool down. Two minutes ago, dripping in sweat, threw a t-shirt on, walking right into breakfast. Glorious. You know, 24 Diner is one of my favorite restaurants here in Austin. They have the best chicken and waffles. Yeah, I will argue this till the day I die. Best chicken and waffles you ever have in your life. However, I'm trying to keep it kind of light. So they have really good sweet potato hash, and then just like the regular breakfast is good. Usually this place is absolutely packed, like Saturday, Sunday morning, there's a line. But Tuesday morning at 9.50 a.m. might be the golden ticket. Appreciate oh, baby. It. You have some Cholula on there too, actually. What is that, spicy? Uh, do you like hot sauce? No way. Oh, In this Cholula. conversation, that will not last a second. Cholula and syrup is the best way to do it. But this is what I got right here. Scrambled eggs, bacon, some uh, home fries or hash browns. I don't know what you guys call them. Back in Pennsylvania, we called them home fries. I think down here they call them hash browns. And, uh, well, 
Trey has also the breakfast platter. Healthy. Healthy. What do we got? I'm the healthiest out of everyone. I got fruit. Y'all got toast. Gluten. Gluten. Watermelon during the summer. Watermelon Best thing ever. Summer. Best thing. Fresh fruit during the summer. Bacon. Extra crispy. Look at that. Extra Do that again. crispy. Wow. One more time? No, yep. good. Sunny side up eggs, hash browns. All right. All right, all right, all right. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful morning. So I was definitely feeling that workout with Hunter from yesterday during today's run. Today's a double. So seven miles in the morning, four miles in the evening. Uh, this morning's run took it a little slower just because, well, like I said, I'm feeling yesterday's workout with Hunter in my legs. So 738 minute per mile pace for seven miles and 53 minutes, 22 seconds. Nice and sweaty. Such a great way to kick off the morning. You, know, you start the morning when the sun's low and the beginning as I'm kicking it off, the sun's rising. By the time I'm finishing, I have like this nice sunbeam right here. Beautiful. Hey, Rye. Good morning, buddy. Hey, Ram. Hey, Ram. Good morning. Good morning. So post-run breakfast, I have some protein sludge. So this is two scoops of the vanilla protein, which like I've said before, I wish we would have called it birthday cake or cake batter because it tastes amazing. It's like one of my favorite flavors right now. So two scoops made into sludge, milk, uh, mixed with some milk, and I throw in blackberries and raspberries. And then I've pointed these out before, but I have to do it again because I'm telling you, these are the best English muffins I have ever, ever found. And I'm a big English muffin fan. So it's these Silver Hills Sprouted Power. We get them at Natural Grocers. It's the only place we found them. I'm sure you can get them online but they are like super doughy, they're thicker, uh, they get crispy on the outside and stay soft on the inside. My favorite. Tell me what we got here. Well, we uh, ordered these new uh, branded boxes that are awesome. Uh, customers are gonna love it. Um, it's just like adds a whole new dimension to uh, the experience you get when you order your package. Where are these new uh, new shaker bottles at? The new shaker. We gotta show have... show these off. So this has been highly requested. Go one more shaker bottles by Blender Bottle. Pretty awesome. And the two newest pieces of equipment here in the new warehouse, Suite 370, two more big ass fans. Those are, that's an ass there. That's an ass there. These are the big ass fans. We have another one in our current warehouse over there. And we added two more because our new packing stations are gonna be over here. And then all of this will be lined with shelving. So if you guys watched my last video, the day in the life video, uh, you sawing, you sawing, you sawing, you saw the team and I working with Precision Warehouse Design, PWD, because we are redoing our logistics structure and efficiencies. Uh, we're going to maximize the space here and we're gonna maximize the amount of orders we can get out on a daily basis. Right now on average, we're doing about a thousand orders per day, direct to consumer through our site and fulfilling and shipping out of our warehouse here. Well, in order to prepare for more launches and our growth and, and sales, we need to be able to do like four to 5,000 orders effectively and comfortably a day. Be able to ship out four to 5,000 orders a day. Uh, so we're making some big changes, which I'm excited to to show you guys over the next couple of weeks. It'll be about eight weeks until it's all implemented, just in time for Black Friday this year. 
However, we have conveyor belts going in. We have flow track shelving going in. Um, we are using a new logistics fulfillment software that will minimize a lot of the work that we're doing right now manually, and it will be automated. But this is where it's all gonna be. So I'm really excited to take you guys to the process, but in the last video, we were working with PWD. We locked in that contract, uh, and it was an expensive one. It was an investment, but it's gonna make our growth and our ability to scale a lot more comfortable and easier. So big moves. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right, guys, two things. Number one. Um, starting next week, I just had done talking to my coach, Patrick Cutter. Starting next week, we're going to start a deload or recovery week in training. Just because it's been a while since I've had a deload recovery, uh, reduced training volume a little bit in preparation moving forward with the next training block, getting ready for that next marathon, which is November 7th. And number two, one of our athletes is here right now, Ellis McLean, with his training partner, Derek, and they are throwing massive amounts of weight around in the gym. So let's go check it out. We're gonna go for 650. If 650 feels good, we might go up a little bit more. But I mean, I think 650 is a good, good point. I squatted yesterday. I got, I got bench in, deadlift today. But how many, I mean, how many times do you squat a week? Uh, depends. Right now, my block, I'm doing three. Yeah, I'll do like for the first, for the first two weeks of the month, I'll go three, and then the last two weeks, I'll hit four. Okay. So it's just. Going, 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 going. But that's what I asked for. So, I mean, for the for the longest, I was just a bencher, just a bencher, bencher, bencher. And, I mean, while that's cool, just to be able to bench, as far as like lifting goes, especially with competition, man, like it, it's only such a small percentage of your of your total. So, the biggest thing I wanted to work on was, you know, honestly, just out of straight embarrassment, was I didn't want my bench and my squat to be so close. <laughs> so I really started like hammering on that squat, and it's finally at a point where I'm like, all right. I finally can squat 700, like, you know, with, with I guess, ease, if, if there's a such thing as squatting with, with ease, and, you know, I mean, for my size, I guess, you know, that, that's been a big thing. I guess now the, the goal is trying to squat four times body weight. So I do that, then I'll be, I guess, happy. I don't know. You're never happy, though. Damn. You're never Damn. Happy. Never happy. Upload schedule. Right now it's, man, it's whenever I can get a video recorded, edited. Uploaded. Alright guys, so second run of the day. Um, four miles this morning, seven miles, this evening four miles. I'm on IG Live right now. So I'm on the treadmill just because taking it slow, it's like an eight minute per mile pace. And sometimes like my body's Feet down, tired, a little sore. Especially after yesterday's workout. The treadmill with like the, the shocks, the springs, cushion the blow a little bit. Nice little recovery run. So four miles, one way I break up these recovery runs really well is just go on Instagram Live, answering some questions. So I'll be on here for like you know, 32 minutes and feel good after that. Tomorrow's a full rest day, but get some miles in. For all you burger lovers out there like me, pro tip, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are already doing this, Butter your rolls and then toast them on the grill 
as you're finishing up your burgers. It definitely adds to the experience, the flavor, the texture. Bomb.com. All right, guys, so tonight's dinner is burgers and fries. Fries are the frozen Alexia fries we threw in the air fryer we've been using lately. I'm gonna show you how we are compiling this burger. I made this recipe like a week ago, very similar. So these are HEB bakery buns that we just toasted on the grill. First, I'm gonna throw on some of this bacon jam that I also got at HEB. So this will be the, the base of the burger. So we're gonna spread a little bit of this bacon jam right on the bottom. We're going to get the burger here. And we're gonna put the burger on the bun. I'm gonna to top it with sauteed mushroom and onion, like so. A little bit of ketchup. And this is a beautiful masterpiece of a burger. And this right here is dinner. Well guys, it is just about 8 p.m. on a Wednesday evening here in Central Texas. Beautiful out, absolutely beautiful. And I wanted to wrap up this video by saying thank you to you guys. Thank you for the continuous support on the YouTube videos, the content on Instagram. Thank you for supporting my company, Bear Performance Nutrition. Thank you for supporting our products, providing feedback, supporting the team. Um, we, we greatly appreciate it. And we realize we cannot do this without the help and support of you. So thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.